Hey people, welcome to The Run Test, it's Kieran here. Now on June the 11th this year, I'm gonna be running the Comrades Marathon. It's one of the most iconic, oldest, biggest ultra races going. 55 miles on roads, lots and lots of hills. And that has set me one thought in mind. I have to find the best pair of shoes to go and run that kind of predominantly road ultra. And for my first ultra test, I picked up the Saucony Endorphin Elite. They're now in a plastic bag because they are filthy and a bit stinky. And I took them to do 32 miles inside a one mile tunnel. Yep, you heard me right. I went down to a one mile tunnel down in Bath in the southwest of England, the home of something called the Tunnel Ultra, which is a 200 mile ultra run where people do 200 miles up and down in a one mile tunnel in the darkness. They're not allowed music. They're not allowed anyone to run with them. They sort of run basically for 48 hours. It's all about kind of sensory deprivation. I decided I would go down there and find out what it's like to run in the tunnel and use that opportunity to put the Saucony Endorphin Elite through their paces over what is like a five and a half hour run for me. So I ended up doing 50K plus in the Saucony Endorphin Elite. I'm mainly flat on tarmac. I wanted to see how these shoes would hold up. And before we get into that, a quick word, I wanted to say a massive thanks to Marathon Tours and Travel. I'm going to run the Comrades with them this year. They are the only place from the UK where you can still bag an entry to the sold out Comrades Marathon. So if you're interested in taking on the challenge that I'm gonna go and do in June, then check out the link in the caption below for details about how to enter. So we've got a full review and a marathon test of the Saucony Endorphin Elite on the channel already, but in case you're not familiar with the main points about this shoe, it's basically got that now familiar super shoe combo of a high stack of super foam carbon plate and lightweight uppers. It's designed to compete with the fastest marathon race shoes on the market. The midsole features some new Power Run HD foam. The Saucony says it's most efficient yet. It comes with the same race legal stack as the Nike Alpha Fly. That's a 40 mil heel and 32 mil forefoot with an eight mil drop. There's a foot long carbon plate to deliver stiffness from heel to toe and aggressive toe spring. The forefoot has a slotted design to also allow for a more natural foot flex from the medial to lateral side. And that's working with Saucony's speed roll geometry in a bid to create an efficient roll through and a lively toe off. The uppers feature a combination of knitted and mesh materials in a unique, somewhat fussy and fiddly design made up of multiple components. And to add to that overall feeling of spring and cushioning and protection, there's also a Power Run Plus sock liner. Flip them over and the outsole is virtually covered with a thin layer of relatively smooth rubber it's a bit reminiscent of the Vaporfly outsole, but with more coverage for grip and durability. This pretty minimal design brings the Saucony Endorphin Elite in an impressive race weight. It's just 7.5 ounces or 211 grams in a UK men's size eight and a half. Price-wise, it's bang up there. It's gonna set you back $275 or 280 pounds in the UK. So I've just done 32 miles in the Saucony and Dwarf and Elite in a tunnel, a one mile tunnel that I've done up and back, up and back, up and back 32 times. Um, so an ultra inside a dark old tunnel for fun. And just to test these Saucony and Dwarf and Elite. So I've done them, I've put them through a marathon test and now I've gone, you know, another six miles extra at pre pretty reasonable paces. And yeah, they've done a great job in there actually. I think they've performed better than over the marathon really impressed with them. They really, really did 
what I needed them to do. Yeah, they, they performed really well. Even later in, I was getting a bit sort of tired on tired legs, but the energy that they've just given me popping along in that tunnel, it was flat as a pancake, nice kind of road, smooth tarmac. But the stability, the comfort, none of that toe problem that I had when I first did the marathon test that's in our marathon test video. Um, good on the foot fatigue front, no problems at all. Plenty of response, plenty of bounce, plenty of protection. Uh, yeah, just really impressive. These are a shoe that, yeah, definitely, if I was doing a road ultra, I would definitely consider running in these. But I'll, I'll do more back in the office on how I found them, because I'm a bit tired, I get a bit cold, and I've got to find my lift. Um, so I'm down in the middle of nowhere in the uh, southwest somewhere of England. So anyway, I'll update you a bit more on the ultra test of the Socony Endorphin Elite uh, back in the office. So then the ultra verdict on the Socony Endorphin Elite I, I was really positive about these shoes. I know some people have kind of complained that over some distance they find them a little bit too firm. You know, people say they wouldn't take them maybe beyond a half marathon. There's a little bit of firmness coming up through the bottom of the shoe. Lacks a little bit of protection, you know, not quite the kind of softness and the, the overall kind of protection that you might get from a Socony Endorphin Pro 3. But I've done a marathon test in these. I have done a full ultra test in them now. And I have to say they've been really good over those long distances. So I was in on feet for about five and a half hours in the tunnel i did yeah total garmin said 34 miles it was somewhere around the kind of 32 mile mark what i found really interesting i was running at kind of a nine and a half minute mile pace where if you put that into context of my marathon pace might be like a seven minute mile maybe a little bit faster than that somewhere between six and a half minutes and seven minutes so i was running fairly slow you know the kind of running where you tend to sort of feel a bit more impact you tend to need a bit more stability maybe a little bit back on my heels it was pancake flat but I found that they actually had ample kind of cushioning and protection to last even deeper into those kind of five hours. And, you know, one example, I'm just gonna look at my Strava stats here, but I'd know that when I got to kind of mile 24, yeah, mile 25, 26 and 27, I ran at 629, 635 and 659. So I put in, you know, like a sub 21 minute 5K on the last three miles of what would have been a marathon, even though I had more distance to go. And these shoes were still going really well. They were giving me that energy back. I think they kept my legs feeling fresh deep into that run. Exactly what you'd want in an ultra shoe if you're running on the road, these had it. And I didn't really feel too much kind of impact back up into the feet. And the foot fatigue that can be a problem on shoes that are less protective wasn't there either. So I actually found these quite commendable. When I did the first marathon test, there's a video on the channel here too, after about sort of 70 miles, I did have a bit of a problem under one of my toes. There was a little bit of the a feeling like the plate was causing a little bit of pain under one of my toes. On this run, I didn't have any of that, which was great. And overall, I was really pleased on the day with how these ran, how they coped. I had a little bit of fear going into them, whether or not, you know, they'd be sort of, I guess, kind of soft enough, you know, to soak up all that mileage. But I think on balance, I think a really good cracking option, if you're going on a flat or a road ultra, where you're gonna to want to, to put the hammer down a little bit or go a bit pacier, uh, then I think these kind of Socony Endorphin Elite are a good option. Massive caveat, obviously, is that price tag. There are probably better shoes out there for it at a cheaper price. But overall, I was surprised at how kind of comfortable they were deep into ultra territory. And for when I go and do the Comrades Marathon, these are definitely a contender up there for me, although I will almost certainly need to give them a clean before I do so because they are a little bit messy. But overall verdict, Socony Endorphin Elite, considerations for a road ultra, punchy, I think protective enough could do a really good job one well worth considering if you've got a run that you're going to do that's longer than a marathon where you're looking at going basically on nice kind of flat runnable surfaces so there you have it that has been my ultra test in a tunnel with the Socony endorphin elite i hope you've enjoyed it if you have any questions about the shoes or about the comrades marathon indeed or about running in a tunnel and what that's like hit me up in the comments below i'd be happy to answer those if you're looking for more information on the Socony Endorphin Elite, you can go out and check out this video that's appearing on the channel right now. That's got our multi-tester review. There is also a marathon test on there somewhere on the channel too. You'll be able to find that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. All of that support really helps us bring you more content on the channel. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you about the shoes and I will see you again soon on the run testers.